learned that the longer that two people know each other, the more they start to think alike. How long have you known Miss Pennington? <laughs> she doesn't do math, she said. <laughs> 32 years. 34, 34 years. <laughs> you know, this usually goes the other way around. In the 34 years that you've known your husband, have you ever gotten to the point where you knew exactly what was on his mind? <laughs> <laughs> yes? <laughs> she, he wants to know what's on his mind now. <laughs> Mr. Pennington, in the first 34 years that you've known your wife, have you ever gotten to the point where you knew exactly what was on her mind? No. <laughs> Something tells me this is going to be a little harder than usual. Now, I've been doing this trick for over 20 years, and I've gotten to the point where I can almost always make people select the card I wanted them to. When you were reaching for that card, did you feel anything? No. Mm. Okay. <laughs> when you were reaching for your card, did you feel anything? Yeah! And they got a half life. Okay, now I have your half of the card for a second. Your half of the card for a second. Oh, you want to know if they match on the other side? Well, that would be a little more difficult. But not impossible. Let's give them both a big round of applause! Scott Hutchison asked me to make a short announcement, it's very brief because we have a lot to do. He just brought it. <laughs> Maybe we should put that off until a little bit later on. You take your purple handkerchief and you wave it up and down a couple of times and explain that you're going to do some magic with it. You tuck it in the top of your fist like this, you wave over it mysteriously, and you reach at the bottom of your hand and start pulling out that yellow one. Oh, you're wondering what to do with purple one. <laughs> You know, if you thought it was hard to make a yellow one disappear, you should have seen how hard it was to make a purple one disappear. Just like that.